So my name is Bob Data. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of neurobiology at the Harvard Medical School in Boston. Uh, and my lab studies the olfactory system. And so today I describe um, two recent results from my lab. Uh, the first result was about a new type of way the nose uses to detect odorants, uh, which we think is very interesting, particularly because although my lab studies mice, we think the same way of detecting odorants might be present in humans. So we're thinking hard about that. Uh, and some techniques that my lab has generated uh, to study uh, behavior in mice. So uh, the way that odors are detected in your nose is that your nose contains special neurons called sensory neurons uh, that detect odors in the environment. And sensory neurons detect odors in the environment because they have uh, a type of molecule called an odor receptor. It's a, a molecule that sits on the surface of the cell like this and it grabs onto odors kind of like a lock and a key. So a receptor is specialized to interact with a particular odor. So uh, we have uh, looked in the nose for uh, different types of receptors, and we think that we've stumbled into uh, potentially a new set of these receptors. Uh, and so we're very excited by that possibility. I think it's becoming increasingly apparent that uh, even though humans think of smell as primarily an aesthetic sense, that it has real medical relevance for people. So there's more and more information about um, the consequences of individual humans losing their sense of smell, uh, but also it turns out that the sense of smell is the first affected during a large number of uh, neurological disorders and neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. And so people are beginning to look at the sense of smell as a tool to help diagnose people who might have various forms of cognitive impairments.